What's going on, everybody? Day after the fight, a little bit of a fight recap. Hope everyone's enjoying their Sunday. So, Canelo wins the fight, unanimous decision. Uh, and in a very one-sided affair, I thought that Canelo just was a step quicker than Triple G the whole way through. I didn't think it was very competitive. I thought Triple G looked his age. And it really was not a very competitive fight. I don't know what the judges were looking at. I thought that was a very one-sided fight. I just rewatched it. I had a 10-2. Maybe 10-2, 9-3 in that range. Could even go 11-1. Or even 12 -0. I mean, it was really not a competitive fight. Triple G looked old. But I got to say this. I thought Triple G, he... Honestly, I think he just turned up for the money. I don't think he was even trying to win. I think he just wanted to survive, and that was like a victory to him. Kind of reminded me of the Duran Leonard third fight back um, from 1989 when Duran, he, he just seemed like he was content with going the distance and showing people that he could survive. I, I didn't think that Triple G was really going for the win, and I don't really know what John Banks was telling him throughout the whole entire fight because it didn't seem like he was telling him much of anything, to be honest with you. I think his strategy, Triple G, may have been to pace himself you know, in the first six rounds and then try to go for it more in the last six rounds because Canelo does have some stamina problems. But I just don't see how he could have ever felt like he gave himself a very high chance of winning this fight, especially knowing that you lost the last fight on the cards. So I, you'd probably have to do extra. But i got to say this. you know, A lot of people, they... Go at Canelo for having favorable scorecards. I mean, this was the opposite. To me, the fact that two judges had 7-5 and one had 8-4, well, where, where are all the people now saying that Canelo gets it so easy? I mean, where, where's Teddy Atlas? I don't see him. And I'm a fan of Teddy Atlas. But I don't see him posting all these stuff. Oh, you know, Triple G, you know, the, the scorecards are an injustice. And I don't think that's fair. I think we got to be consistent in boxing. You know, the judging is a problem. And I think they were bugging but overall, I got to say, I was very disappointed. The fight was not exciting. It didn't live up to it. Uh, luckily, I won some money, so I'm happy. You know, I won money. I got my bet in. I had Canelo winning. You know, I had a little bit on the knockout also, but I had Canelo winning, so I'm happy that I won money. But, you know, I'm, I'm living good. I'm feeling good. I'm having it good. But enough about me. Back to the fight. It wasn't a very entertaining fight. And it didn't make Canelo look good. You know, I expected him to stop this guy and I wanted him to make a big statement. And I think a lot of his fans wanted him to make a big statement. And he didn't do it. He didn't do it. You know, so, you know, he wins the fight clearly. I think Triple G is done. I think it's over for him. He's retired. But now they're saying that Canelo Alvarez has some uh, issues with his hand and he may be out for some time. So I wouldn't be surprised if Canelo took a very long break. And I understand that too. You know, Canelo's been carrying the sport of boxing especially in North America for four or five years now so you know take a break you know Floyd Mayweather did that Oscar De La Hoya did that Sugar Ray Leonard did that they took long breaks at times so you know you, you know it's it's understandable the only guy who didn't really take long breaks ever that was a big superstar is Manny Pacquiao you gotta give him a lot of credit for that he never took a break but yeah I, to me overall I think the fight was a little bit underwhelming I don't think that Canelo made the statement that I thought he was going to make, and the fight wasn't that exciting. So overall, it was disappointing. But this is boxing, and this is life. Also, as far as the undercard goes, I expected Jesse Bam Rodriguez to look better and do better, but still, he won the fight. But that's another fight where I thought the judges were bugging. I think one judge had a 114-113, which means Jesse Rodriguez only won 7-5 because he, he had the point deduction because of the low blows. But to me, he won that fight easily. I had it either, you know... Eight, eight rounds or nine rounds, nine probably nine rounds to Bam Rodriguez, and then you take a point away. So I had a 117-110. But overall, it was not a uh, great night for boxing, but Canelo did get the win. And in time, that's all people will remember. But in the moment, people are a little bit like, eh, is Canelo starting to fall off? Is he starting to show some slippage? He didn't look so good. I thought he looked really good in the first eight rounds. I, I thought he was really taking care of business. And he, he clearly won, you know, basically all the rounds. But his gas tank is his kryptonite, and that is something to consider. And I never thought that David Benavides would have a very good chance of beating him. 
But now I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe Benavides with his high work rate, maybe he can beat Canelo. But I don't know about that. We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. But Canelo Alvarez beats Triple G by unanimous decision and retains his titles and is the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your Sunday.